how do you know which one's for you? It really has to do with where do you see yourself and what are your expectations? So I know a lot of people, they want to go to a D2 or a D3 because it's a smaller class setting and academically they're going, they feel like that school has exactly what they want and they're looking long-term. They're looking much more way past their career. Um, and so they're like, let's go to a D2 or D3. Softball is still a big priority, but it's not like the end all be all. It's not like you have to be the best of the best in softball and the best in the best ac academically, which a lot of D1 schools, that they require that, especially in the Big Ten where I played. Um, same thing with other conferences as well. But you just have to know what you want. Like, if you want to go play, D play D1, here's my advice. D1 requires you to be an elite student. So a student where C's, a bunch of C's aren't really going to cut it. Like, you cannot go into college and just be a C student. Like, you need to be able to know that, like, post-college, a lot of things are, are, are going to happen for you if you have great grades. And if you don't, you might be stuck in a limbo. So if you, if you know that academically you can handle this, you are ready for the challenge, then maybe you can do that. But you also have to realize that you also have to be pretty dang good at the sport. Like D1 schools are going for the best of the best. So you have to train at, like physically, you have to physically train softball wise at the most elite level to play D1. And you have to be able to compete against the best of the best, which is why I played on a certain travel team to make sure I was playing against the best teams. But you also have to realize that you have to be very good physically in the game. You have to be one of the best probably in your state, but also you have to be one of the best academically as well. You have to pair it. Okay, I'm not saying you have to be a 4.0 student, but I am saying that you have to be able to get into the school itself. So a lot of, um, you know, a lot of people want to go play T1, but realize D1 is also pretty expensive. Um, unless you're on a full scholarship, which sorry to break it to you, there aren't many full scholarships given out in softball. So you have to know where your family can fit, like where you can afford school, where you can still get a scholarship, but also maybe you want to be, be, be um, concentrate a little bit more on academics than you would softball. Like a D, there are a lot of D2 schools that are just as good as a lot of D1 schools, but those girls go play D2 because it's a smaller setting. They're getting a lot more time in classrooms with, with professors. So they're literally getting like the whole shebang when it comes to, um, you know, they do probably get a little bit more of a social life, I, I, I would assume, um, because in D1, like you don't have much time to fool around. You don't have much time to go um, you know, out with friends because you're spending six hours a day on your sport and you're traveling a ton. So like you just have to know specifically what you want and what it is that that you um, <laughs> that you want. So there I, I like to say this, there is a school for literally everyone out there. There is a school for everyone. The only problem is people don't know exactly what they want, okay? I want a D1 because I knew I could play at that level and I knew I needed to work my butt off to make it into Purdue or whatever school was going to offer me. And I knew I had, to, I had to work harder than everybody else. And I was weird because of it. I didn't have a whole lot of friends in high school because of it. But if you're one that loves a social setting and wants to be in a fraternity or a sorority or maybe a fraternity for baseball guys, if you want to be that, if you want to do that and have more of a social life, then probably D2 or D3 is for you. Not many D1 schools are going to let you be in a sorority. I'm going to tell you that right now. So if that's something that's important to you, you just have to know what you want, okay? And, and playing D2 or D3 or JUCO, I'm going to say this right now, does not define you as an athlete. There are some athletes that are D1 worthy that if they wanted to play D1, they could, and they wanted to play D3 or JUCO because they're like, no, I want a social life. No, I want to do this major that no other school is going to let me do. That's another thing. Some D1 schools don't even let you be a vet. They don't even let you go into med school because they know how much time that's going to take. But if you want to do those things and you know that you're not going to get that at D1 school, it's not shameful to go D2 or D3. That's for some people. Like some people want that. This is why I'm saying there is a school for everyone. It's just not everybody wants to work for it. So you have to know your priorities and then you can choose which level that you want to play at. 